and welcome to Falls from Iron. Please don't forget to like, comment on and share the stream to your social media platform. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already and make sure you hit the bell icon for alerts on new content. As always, we thank you very much indeed for your support. And speaking of support, it segues nicely into the next little appeal that I'd like to do on behalf of the Iron Supporting Food Bank charity. You can find this Just Giving link that's on this banner in the description section you can click on it and go to this page and if you are able to do so put a couple of quid in this particular fighting fund it does an awful lot of good work for families in the new and borough area that are struggling to feed their families in this cost of living crisis that we all find ourselves in so if you are in a position to help please do give generously no donation is too small and as always guys we thank you very much indeed for your support we are here for the next installment of mount matty rushmore we did the first episode with mr russ budden of the west ham network and the next contributor is another heavy hitter in the world of west ham youtubers it is none other than the the enigma the 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 man or woman could be a woman of mystery known as west ham clips clips how are you sir why hello everyone. How are we doing? Thank you for having me on Gate C. It is really, a true honor. You might not know this, but I am actually a lifelong Forged From Iron fan. This is actually me, as a little bambino, watching a Forged From Iron match preview. There's a picture of me again, watching your videos with my friends from Dude Imperfect. Here I am. Um. You weren't supposed to see that one. Get it off the screen. Right. And this one is oh not this one either. Get it off. Get it off the screen. Ah. That's better. This one is a picture of me from the future, watching a Forged From Iron Match review, clearly showing my commitment to this YouTube channel. Hell, I even have a picture of me watching Forged From Iron, from before I was even born. Basically, what I'm trying to say, is thank you for having me on Gate C. It's good to be here. No, it's it's my absolute pleasure to host you, Clips. To, to be fair, I am, I'm very humbled that you you um you're, you're that much of a of a devotee to the 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 channel that we have got up here on falls from iron and uh I, th I thank you very much indeed for for your kind words now forgive me for if i've missed this but i've never actually got any information on why you are a west ham fan so it'd be quite interesting for the people that watch this that maybe aren't aware of what your backstory is of, of how you came to support the men in claret and blue and maybe even sort of like what your your first game at um west ham was be that at the bowling ground or at london stadium um if you're a more recent supporter of the club um be really interesting to know clips your thoughts on that oof well if I'm honest, Gate C, unfortunately neither are too interesting. My first three matches were nil-nil, which really set the tone if I'm honest with you. I actually gave up watching the football in the end. I would just sit there at Upton Park, watching a forged from iron video. And, as for supporting the club, I didn't really have much choice. West Ham goes back through generations in my family, who are from the area. My granddad actually used to play for Hornchurch, and his most notable moment was a penalty he had at Vicarage Road, which he absolutely scuffed beyond belief. And, it ended up breaking the clock, above the stand. Quite frankly, I'm shocked he never got scouted by West Ham. He would have fitted right in. Well, maybe not right now, it has to be said. But, th thanks for the information there, Clips. It's it's really good to... Well, I like to try and sort of find out what... How, how people became West Ham fans. It's always an interesting, interesting piece of information I like to get from people. So, anyway... The reason you're here, Clips, is very simply episode two of Mount Matty Rushmore. So basically to give you the premise of this particular piece, basically you've got the monument in the United States called Mount Rushmore, where you have the heads of four presidents of the United States of America that have been carved into it. And basically all I want to know is what is your, if you had a mountain and you was carving the heads of four former West Ham players that you have seen over your time as a supporter, who would they be and why? Now, they don't have to be necessarily the most skillful players. They could be players that maybe wasn't the best, but maybe you have a connection with them in some way. You have a certain affinity towards them. It's completely up to you. This is your mountain that I am donating to you, and you can carve into the side of them whoever you wish. So if you're up to the challenge clips, tell me your first player. Very well explained as always, Gate C, and I must say, you're looking especially dapper today. 
Anyways, for my team, I'm going for a bit of an unorthodox approach. Bar may be one of these players, I can almost guarantee you, that these players won't be in anyone else's teams. My Mount Matty Rushmore team, isn't necessarily based on the actual footballer, but more so, on the actual person. They have to have something about them, they need to have, that absolute dog, inside of them. They need something, that separates the men from the boys. The wheat from the chaff, the Adam Frankels from the Charlie Walshes. These players aren't necessarily my cult heroes, but, they have to meet my personal requirements to make it into my Mount Matty Rushmore team. So, with that being said, the first player I'm going for, is Roberto Jimenez. Ha 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 Okay, seriously, we're actually going for Patrice Evra. I love this game! I know it's not much better, but hear me out. Could you imagine sharing a dressing room with him? The whole Patrice Evra experience would be quite something. There would be non-stop singing, dancing, kung fu kicking innocent supporters, and, you run the small risk of contracting salmonella. So, what's not to love? And, if you factor in the fact that every time he started for West Ham, it ended in a 4-1 loss? Yeah, I think that'll do for me. Patrice ever makes his first, and, if I'm honest, probably last, appearance in Mount Matty Rushmore. Well, you never know. There might be someone else that's a particular fan of Patrice Evra. I, I think it's fair to say he had his best days at Manchester United clips. But listen, if that's who you want to adorn your mountainside, it's, it's absolutely up to you. I mean, to be fair, I think that he's he's probably a, a someone that came in probably more for the, the sort of character. He always come across as quite a bubbly sort of guy. And I think that at the time that he came into David Moyes' dressing room, Obviously, we were fighting against relegation. And I think that he, whilst he might not have contributed maybe as much on the pitch as possibly he would have envisaged, possibly behind the scenes, I think he was probably quite an important piece of the the, the relegation escape that we, we did that season. Well, anyway, so, so we've got Patrice Evra as your first figurehead on the Mount Matty Rushmore monument that you are going to create. So one down, three more to go. So... Who is your second player, may I ask, Clips, and why? Alrighty then. Next up, we have someone who is in for similar reasons, although this guy is definitely a bit more reasonable. My second pick is Alex Song. Again, he'll bring a similar sort of vibe to the dressing room. However, he will also bring a bit of swagger. Now, this, this is absolutely crucial for any footballer. Actually, not just footballers, but for just about anybody on this planet. As you all have seen, Gate C doesn't at all struggle with this. However, there are certain people out there who, no matter how hard they try, they just can't seem to get it right. Alex Song, however, outstanding. When it was a bit chilly, he would counter this force of nature by applying gloves, whilst also rolling up his shorts and wearing a short-sleeved shirt. He wouldn't even be adverse to wearing goggles on the pitch. You take all of this in and consider the fact that he would randomly pull out the most unnecessary skill moves for absolutely no apparent reason and also the fact that he and his kids still wear their West Ham shirts to this day. Yeah, that'll do for me. Alex Song, if you please. I got to be honest, I, I remember Alex Song when he first came to West Ham. I think it was on loan, wasn't it, from uh, Arsenal, I believe, or was it Barcelona? Anyway, I remember when he came in and... I seem to remember that the, the first couple of matches that he was there, the Man of the Match Award had to be renamed the Alex Song Award because he pretty much picked it up. Uh, from memory, pretty much every home game that I remember seeing him for the first couple, couple of games that he was in. And, all right, the second season that he, he was with us on a, a second loan spell not wasn't quite to the same impact, but I thought he was, he was a decent player whilst he lasted. Now, again, you'll probably get people watching this that will argue the point that maybe Alex Song, in their opinion, shouldn't be on the side of their Mount Matty Rushmore any more than they would say Patrice ever should be. But you know what, Clips? It's your Mount Matty Rushmore that you're creating. Nobody else is, and you can have who you want on the side of your mountain. It's completely up to you. Nobody else's business. So, we've got 50% of your Mount Matty Rushmore constructed. We've got Patrice Evra, and alongside him, we've got Alex Song. So, I'd be very interested to know, Clips, who is number three on the side of your mountain? So, next up, I wanted to put a striker in my team, and, the obvious one, was Big Jordan Hubel. But if I'm honest with you, Gate C, I just can't be dealing with the unfortunate situation of Adam Frankel messaging me, saying something along the lines of Whoa, 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 what? Jordan Hubel? Charlie Walsh also likes Jordan Hubel. That obviously means you and Charlie are the same person. My name is Adam Frankel and I literally own a mug with my own face on it. Oh, by the way, did I mention I'm friends with Dude Perfect? And if I'm honest, Gate C, it's really not worth the hassle. So, I'll leave Big George out for now, but he's there in spirit. 
I'll instead go for Diafra Sacco. Now, on the pitch, quite decent. And, fun fact, he's actually the last West Ham player, before Mikel Antonio and Jesse Lingard, to win Premier League Player of the Month. Sacco was also available for quite cheap on Football Manager back in the day, and I'd always pick him up. But, that's not the reason he's in this team. Some people may not realize this, but, he has some of the most outrageous stories of any West Ham player you could possibly think of. I mean, where do you want me to start? Faking injuries to miss AFCON, to miraculously recover a few days later, and result in an £80,000 fine for West Ham? Crashing his Lambo? Although, he disappointingly, didn't do it dressed as a snowman. Or should I pick the fact he got sent off, in a European qualifier? A European qualifier that we qualified for, by topping the fair play league? Or should I pick the time he flew to France, to book his own medical with Rennes, when neither Rennes or West Ham knew anything about it? I think, Diafra has more than earned his place in my team gate C. He'll be my third pick. It has to be said that the Afro Sacco was, when he came in, he, he was scoring goals for fun. And obviously he has the honour alongside Mikhail Antonio and Winston Reid of being the scorers for West Ham in the last game at the bowling ground. So he will always have a place in folklore at the club. And I, I listen, you make some very good points there, Clips, on, on the reasoning why you have got him as your third head on the side of your mountain and a homage to West Ham players that you have a soft spot for. So we've obviously got the three players so far, Patrice Evra, Alex Song, and now Diafra Sacco. Uh, I'd be very interested to see who it is that's going to complete your monument to all things West Ham United. So, Clips, if you'd be kind enough to let me know who is the fourth player on the side of your Mount Matty Rushmore. Now, a few honourable mentions before this last one. Firstly, Carl Jenkinson. Not only is he one of the funniest characters we've had at West Ham, but he's also one of the most versatile. Another one who just misses out is Julian Faubert. Not only did he send me a four-minute video talking about Mark Noble to use in my documentary. Come on, you islands. But he's also a very selfless man. Going out on loan to a smaller club to gain some work experience? Not many players would take that plunge. The last honorable mentions are Morgan Amalfitano and Enna Valencia. Just because they ran into the city away end when we scored against them that one time. So, that brings me to my last Mount Matty Rushmore player. He's actually currently playing for West Ham. But, unfortunately, he probably won't be here too much longer. However, it could only be one man, couldn't it? It's f***ing Craig! How can you not include Craig? Probably the best defender we will see in our lifetime. When you see Craig in the starting 11, you just know we're not conceding. Craig does not give a damn. He would literally two-foot his own grandmother if it meant keeping the ball out of the net. Not only that, but if you're struggling on football manager, just slap big Craig dog up top, and problem solved. There simply could not be anyone else here. To put it simply, Gate C, it's f***ing Craig. So, who would have guessed those four? Craig Dawson, Alex Song, Diafra Sacco, and Patrice Evra. That's pretty good if you ask me. That is my Mount Matty Rushmore team. I, I have to say, Clips, that last one, especially Craig Dawson, absolute cult hero at West Ham. I, I commend your choices to the audience uh, just to sort of get them up on screen. There we go. That's what it looks like. So there they are adorning the side of your Mount Matty Rushmore. There they are. Patrice Evra, Alex Song, Diafra Sacco, and Ballon Dawson. There you go. Look at that. That is, that is a monument to be proud of. I've got to say clips. That really is excellent work on your behalf. Well, clips, I'd, I'd like to thank you most sincerely for your time and dedication to all things Falls from Iron and, and coming along on, on this journey to, to carve out your Mount Matty Rushmore of West Ham United players. Thank you very much for your time, Clips. Thank you for having me on Gate C. It's an honour. Now, everybody make sure you subscribe to Forged from Iron. I'm afraid that you won't be anywhere near as big of a supporter as me, but it is definitely worth subscribing. Also drop a like while you're down there too. Thank you, everyone. We are f***ing massive. Come on, you irons. Well, thank you very much indeed, Clips. You're, you're very, very kind. And again, thank you for your time and devotion to the Falls from Iron calls. And talking of dedication to the calls, please don't forget, as we said at the beginning, to consider making a donation to the Iron Supporting Food Bank charity. You will find this link, the Just Giving link, in the description section below. 
please consider helping families that have fallen on stony ground in the Newham Borough area in this cost of living crisis. No donation is too small. Give as generously as you can. And we thank you very much indeed for your support. Please also don't forget to like, comment on and share the stream to your social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already and hit the bell icon for alerts on new content. As always, we thank you very much indeed for your support in this matter. And I am going to say, just finish off with my usual, come on you irons. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!